show you how to graph in physics. So the first thing if you want to make a graph for your physics class is you need to be in your drive. So it needs to show your face or your school email and it needs to be in your drive. Um, if you're not there and you're in a Google window anywhere, you can always click on this waffle up here and choose drive and it will take you here. That's good for everything. Once I'm in my drive, all I have to do is click new Google Sheet and I'm ready to start. Coming up, so the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to add a title, so I'm going to call it My First Graph, so I can find it. And now I can enter or copy and paste data. So just like math, X is on the left and Y is on the right. So time is 90% of the time your X. And let's do position in meters on the right. And so I'm going to make this go z 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 for my time. My position, we're starting at 0, 0, and let's make that go 5, and then 10, make it go faster, 25, and then maybe 70. Okay, so now I have my data. Once I have my data, I have to graph it. Now, I can make it look pretty, right? You can format it, but for now, let's just graph it. So we're going to highlight the data, and we're going to click Insert, Chart. Right, so I highlighted the data and I click insert chart. And up pops my chart, except for I'm gonna try to move it out of my data. Don't have to, just makes my life easier. But notice it's a column graph. I don't want a column graph. Most of the time I don't. So you need to make sure you're in this window, this chart editor window pops up when I'm here. Um, but I don't want a column chart. And you have to be on data. Notice when I opened mine, because the last thing I did was customize, you need to be in data. So this toggles back and forth, but I'm going to be in the data one, and I'm going to change it to a scatter plot. So I found my column, I go here, here's my scatter, I pick scatter. So now I have dots just like we normally do. And I check to make sure my data makes sense, so it matches. Oh, look, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, that was my time, 20, 40, 60, 80, that's my position, they're labeled correctly, I have this title at the top, but maybe I don't want that title, it defaults it to that, so I'm going to call it graph 1, just so that, and then of course I'm going to put my name, because my name is really important, and I'm going to put my period, so that I can find it later. So there is my graph, um, but it's not done as far as physics is concerned. We don't play connect the dots, what we do instead is we add uh, trend lines and try to figure out what the math equation is. And you can see this one kind of curves up, so that makes me think it's quadratic. So let's see if we can do that. So remember, I was in data, now I'm going to go to customize. So again, it toggles back and forth on you, so just pay attention to which one you're on. It has this chart axis and titles up, but I really don't want that. So I'm going to go to series. Cirrus has series right here, so I'm going to go to series. And in the series, I'm going to click trend line. So that's what I want. I want a trend line. Now, it defaults to a linear. But if you look, it doesn't look very linear, right? The data is going up. It's not going in a straight line. So I can change it. I have choices. Um, and quadratic is also known as polynomial. So I'm going to pick polynomial is power 2. I could pick power 3 or 4. I could also pick a power exponential or moving average. We don't usually do moving average. Um, and so now I have my trend line, which looks pretty good, but now I need the equation, because in physics it's very important to have the equation. So see where it says label? I'm going to click on that, and it says custom. I didn't want custom. I want it to be on use equation. So see how the equation pops up? That means that y is equal to 2.86 plus negative 9.71x plus 6.43x squared. Except for, in this case, my x is really t. So this is really t and t squared. And my y, which is position, is really x, which is a little confusing. But that's what that equation is. And we have to interpret what those numbers mean. Um, and then I want to do this thing called show r squared. That is the correlation coefficient. It tells me how close do my points line up on this line. So see how they're not all on the line? If they're all on the line, this would be 1. But this is 0.972, which means 97.2% of the points line up on this line. So that's where I can start playing with it. So let's say, oh, I want to see, was linear a better fit? Well, no, that's only 79% because remember my polynomial was 97%. Well, maybe it's a power series. 
no, now it's 92%. So I was right the first time. I wanted to be polynomial, and I could try all of them and do the same thing. All right, so now I have my graph. Um, but let's say I want to change something on the graph. So if you notice I click out, it's, there's nothing showing. If I click in once, nothing happens. If I click twice, it gives me the, the editor. And if I've clicked twice and I control click or right click, um, depending on what kind of computer you have, it gives me all sorts of options. Like I can change my vertical axis. So instead of being position, I could change it to distance. Let's say I don't know why I'd want to do that, but let's just say I did. Um, so anyways, that's if it's already activated and I hit control, that allows me to do that. allows me to look at different series. But let's say I had a second set of data. So I'm going to enter a second set of data. I'm going to say, okay, so now let's say I did another run. Something different happened. And so now this time, let's say it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. I know it's not very exciting, but that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to grab my graph. Now notice nothing pops up. i got to double click. All right, cool. But I'm in Customize. So I go to Data. So there's lots of clicking. You've got to pay attention to where you are. And I want to add a series. Now I can also do it by Control clicking where it says Series. right? But the easiest way to do it is Data, Add Series. And it says, well, what do you want to add? So I click here and I say, I want to make this, oops, let's cancel because I want to actually get that first one, right? So if you miss it, you can just go again. I want to actually go here to here because I want to get that label and say, okay. And so it's pretty smart. It knows and see, it gave me this new series. But again, I need to do my equation. So I click on customize, come over here. I click on series. And I want to add a trend line because remember, there's no line there. This time I'm going to leave it as linear because that looks pretty good. Uh, where does it say linear type? Oh, it doesn't say it, but oh, because you know why? It's because I'm not in the right one. I don't want to be in all. So in position one, I want the trend line to be polynomial. And in my other one, see, it doesn't have the right label. So we'll go back and fix that. Um, we want it to be linear. So that looks pretty good. But it's not showing my equation. So remember, I have to come down here to label, use equation, show our square value, and look at that perfect, absolutely perfect data. I can click in here, and for the legend, um, I might be able to, let's try this, if I change this to position two, does that automatically update? Yes. So if I change it up there, it's the only place I can change the legend. Maybe I want this one to be position one, so I change that. So now I've got position one, position two. All right, now I like my graph. This is my graph one. It's ready to print, ah, but it's not. So I'm going to click once, double click to activate it, click these dots. And when I do the dots, notice I can save the image. I can copy the chart. I can move to the own sheet. So I'm gonna move to the own sheet, make sure it looks good and I can see everything. Um, I can go to the chart axes and I can change the size of it. Chart axes, um, title, so I can make it like 24 or something. So you can start changing sizes if you want to. Whatever you decide you want to do in there. So the chart title, the legend has text color, legend font size, and so maybe I want that to be 18. So it's, anyways, you can make it so it looks better. Right, you can play with all those, but everything that you see are chart titles and axes. So, you know, if I, I come up here, I can change it to the horizontal axis, and I don't want it to be auto, I want it to be 16 because I didn't think it was big enough, and I changed it to the vertical. Anyways, you can play with this part until you decide you like what it is. All right, so now I'm like, cool, this is ready. It is so ready. And let's say I need to print it. For whatever reason, Mrs. Demas wants me to print it. So I'm gonna go file. And I'm going to go print, and then I can just print like I normally do, right? Print it in landscape, fit to width. You go to next, the printer that you're printing to will um, show up here. It's a little slow, and that's what, but I don't really want to print it. But if I wanted to print it, that's what I would do. If I want to save the image, I can save the image, and it downloads it as a PNG, which then I can open um, in Finder, show in Finder. And then I can figure out where it is. And here's my graph. I know it's in download. So then I can upload it to Google Classroom. 
or send it as an email or whatever I want to do. So it keeps the formatting, makes it look beautiful, right? If I double click on it, it's just the chart and I can make it any size I want then, right? Um, I can also publish the chart and tell, ask me, what do you want to publish? And it, it defaults the entire document, so click that off. And I just want chart one and it says, okay. And then I can say publish and I say, okay. And then I can take this link and I can place it in a Google Doc or wherever I want. The last thing that you can do is you can make sure you put this someplace where you can find it later. So don't forget to do this. Go file and move to and decide where you want to move it. So maybe you want to make a folder that's my physics, my physics stuff 2018. 2019 check that and I'm gonna say move it here and then I know all of my graphs are all in the same place awesome I'm done